Galson provides a three-part chain of custody form. It is important that all of the information requested on the form be completed to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Missing information may result in the samples being placed in a pending hold status until we can reach you for clarification on the information. You may complete the form directly on our website by going to www.galsonlabs.com and selecting Chain of Custody Form in the Links section. We provide easy instructions there for completing the electronic version of the form. Otherwise, complete the form as follows to avoid delays or confusion. Change of address. Please check this box if this chain of custody is providing us with a new address for the account. New client? Please check yes if you are a new account or if this is the first time you have submitted samples for analysis. Report 2. Provide the name and title of the person to whom the final analytical report will be addressed and the complete address where the report will be mailed if hard copy is needed. Phone number. Provide the phone number of the person to whom the report will be sent. Fax number. Provide a fax number if the report is to be faxed when completed. Invoice 2. If this is the same as Report 2, indicate so. Otherwise, provide the name and address where invoices are to be sent. Include the phone and fax number of accounts payable if different from the Report 2 numbers. Site. Provide your own identifier as a site reference if applicable. This site will be reported on each page of the final report. Please write legibly as site names are not always obvious to the laboratory and we often have to verify site names with the client if they cannot be read clearly. Project. Provide a project name or number if applicable. This name will be reported on each page of the results and is your own specific project name. Sampled by. Print the names of the persons who collected the samples in this field. This will provide you with a record in the final report. Need results by. Check the box that corresponds with the number of business days after the date of receipt that you need your results. For example, if you sample and ship on Monday with two-day delivery to Galson Laboratories, we would receive your samples on Wednesday. Five business days would get you your results on the following Wednesday. Two business days would get you your results on Friday with a 75% surcharge added to the analytical price. You may write in the comments section the specific date you require your results if you are uncertain how many business days are required to get the date you need. Samples submitted using the free pump loan program. Please check this box if you are using our free pump loan program for the collection of your samples. If you are using the free pump loan program for only a portion of the samples, please specify in the comments section which samples were collected using the program. Samples submitted using the free sampling badges program. Please check this box if you are using our free sampling badges program for the collection of your samples. If you are using the free sampling badges program for only a portion of the samples, please specify in the comments section which samples were collected using the program. Client account number. This is your client account number given to you by Galson Laboratories. The number can be found on the packing list or prep request associated with your prep. It is a five-digit number with no letters specified as account number on either form. Purchase order number. If you are paying by purchase order, provide the purchase order number in this space. Credit card number. If you are paying by credit card, please clearly print your credit card number in the space provided. If you prefer that your credit card information not appear here, please write on file and communicate this to client services via email or phone. Card holder name. If you are paying by credit card, please clearly print the card holder's name as it appears on the card in the space provided. Expiration. If you are paying by credit card, please clearly print the expiration date of the card as it appears on the card in the space provided. Email fax results to. Provide the name of the persons that will be receiving a fax or email copy of the report. Email address. Provide the email addresses of the persons that will be receiving an emailed copy of the report. If you do not want an email of the report sent, please print no email in this space. Fax number. Provide the fax numbers of the persons that will be receiving a faxed copy of the report. If you do not want a fax of the report sent, please print no fax in this space. 
Sample identification. Provide a sample identifier that correlates directly to the sample you are submitting for analysis. Many of the media have unique identifiers on them, provided by the laboratory or the manufacturer. You may also use your own identifier as long as you mark that identifier on each piece of the sampling media in some way. The sample identification you provide in this space will appear as your sample ID on the final report. Please limit your sample identification to 20 characters or less. Extended sample IDs create formatting problems and may need to be abbreviated to fit for final reporting purposes. Date sampled. Provide the date the sample was collected in the following format. Month, day, year. If the sample was collected over a range of days, provide the dates as month, day, year, to month, day, year. Collection medium. This is a catalog number or abbreviation for the type of media used in sample collection. Catalog numbers for tubes may be found on the side of the tube or on the labels provided. Cassettes are typically labeled on the side with a sticker. Passive monitors are listed on the badge container. Some other types of media that may be listed are the word bulk, wipe, or mini can. Air volume leaders. Provide the air volume in liters for the associated sample. The air volume is the calculation of the pump flow rate, liters per minute, multiplied by the number of minutes the pump was sampling to get the total number of liters sampled. You should consider the number of significant figures you provide in this column. Four significant figures would normally be the maximum number that could be verified. You may have less. You may want to provide figures beyond the number that are significant. The number you provide in this column will be reported as part of your final report. We will not round the number. If a passive monitor, bulk, or mini can was used, or you do not want us to use the air volume to calculate your final concentrations, place an NA in this column. Passive monitor minutes. Provide the number of minutes the passive monitor was exposed. If the sample was not taken with a passive monitor, place an NA in this column. Analysis requested. Specify in this column the analyses you would like performed on the specific sample. List the analyses from the sampling and analysis guide. You can use elemental abbreviations for many of the analyses, such as PB, CD, H2SO4, or the specific names, like benzene or ethylbenzene, or the group of analyses, such as welding fume profile or aldehyde profile. If you have a list, you can show it in the comments section below and refer the individual samples to the list. For less common analyses and mixtures of analytes, such as naphtha, stoddard solvent, mineral spirits, or VM and P, it is important to provide a CAS number in order for the laboratory to correctly quantify your results. Please provide a CAS number for this type of analyte in the comments section. Method reference. If you have a specific method you are requesting, you can list it here. For example, NIOSH 0500, OSHA ID 215, or OSHA 7. If you are uncertain of the analytical method, do not worry about this column. The laboratory will assign an analytical method, and if we are uncertain, we will call you to clarify your request. Specific DL needed. If you have a specific requirement for a lower detection limit than the guide or method spec, you must specify it in this column. We may need to analyze this sample in a special way to reach the detection limit you require. If you are requesting a lower detection limit than what is published, it is best to contact our client services representatives, as they may be able to find an alternate method for you to meet your needs. If you do not require a special detection limit, please leave this column blank. Yes, no. Add a laboratory blank. If a field blank is not specified as one of your samples, we routinely add a laboratory blank to each analyte for quality control purposes. The blank is reported and charged as a sample. Depending on the purpose of collecting your samples, a field blank may not be necessary, and you must check no, indicating you are waiving the need for a blank to be reported with your samples. If you are submitting your field blank as a blind quality control sample, you must check no, and another blank will not be added. List description of industry processes interferences present in sampling area. Provide a brief list of the process associated with the samples, such as hexavalent chromium has different holding times for plating, welding, or painting, or any other information that may interfere with the analysis, like other volatile compounds, other metals, dust, odors, humidity, and the like. 
This information is often critical to appropriate analysis. For example, if concrete, limestone, or calcium carbonate were present during silica analysis, we need to know that. These materials may create interferences that would bias the analysis. A special acid treatment prior to analysis will be performed if we know this information. Comments. Use this space for additional interferences or specific requests or explanations that could not fit in the space above. Refer to specific samples with an asterisk, double asterisk, triple asterisk, and so on from above. Relinquished by. Print name, provide signature, and specify date, time, month, day, year, hours, minutes in military time. Login number. This field is for laboratory use only. Page number of total number of pages. After completing your chain of custody forms, number them using this block based on the total number of pages and the specific page for each numbered sequentially. For example, one of three, two of three, three of three. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Questions? Contact Galson Laboratories by phone, email, or IH Live Chat. You may also access our extensive library of other helpful videos at galsonlabs.com. Thank you.